he would have been 19, 18, 18 or 19. I thought he was a bit older than that, actually. He was 20. One or two or three or something. It was a few years older. It wasn't. The original thought was he signed up as soon as his time came around. But when we looked at the dates, I think I I I, I can't be sure. But I thought it was actually surprising. He was a bit older. Yeah. I thought he was nineteen. Mm-hmm. Anyhow, as I say, my memory's uh, mm-hmm. are really limited because I wasn't briefed on the family history to mm-hmm. any great degree. Mum never spoke of it. I wonder where the cope. Um, the Con- Lake Conda branding iron came, we would have come through Vern then. Possibly. We got things. But why he would have it, I'm not going to find I'm, I'm trying to work out as well. Because um, when old Podger died. I remember someone telling me that's what it was, because we had it in the billiard yeah. room for years. I remember it, I remember mm. it now. And, um, but I don't know where it came from. Mm. Anyhow, um, old Podger was, uh, Podger Cope, was a, me- was a mean old bastard, and when he made a will, he left everything to his other grandchildren mm-hmm. except Mom and Vern because he said they weren't good to her mother mm-hmm. their mother which was his daughter and uh, that was a bloody lie of course the old bastard uh, obviously preferred the other children so and, yeah. When the Lake Conda property, remember you were talking about the Aboriginal houses on there and the yeah, yeah. fish farms, yes. how did you find out about those then? Did you ever go down there? No, I read about them somewhere, the fish traps and... Uh, so you'd never actually been to the property? I'd been, probably, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mum and I called in there once when we had the camper van. Mm. Uh, the, and uh, we were making a tour around the Western District I don't know where you were, but um, we called into the Conda property, and uh, I remember Les Cope was there and his wife, and as soon as we got on the door, he offered me a whiskey. <laughs> he was a pretty mm. heavy drinker, mm. uh, and his wife was a pleasant sort of enough woman. She he wanted to see inside them the the, the caravan, van. yeah. So we helped her up to have a look, um, but that, that's the only contact I had with him. Mm. Um, so as a child you never went down or anything? No. no. Mm. Yeah. I remember talking about that they had permanent built houses down there for the Aborigines. Uh, no, um, there were stone houses at Lake Conda, or the remains of them, which the Aboriginal experts claimed were built by Aborigines. Now, mm. to me, that's a lot of bullshit because mm. Aborigines did, didn't build permanent mm. homes, uh, certainly not out of stone. And my thoughts were that the so-called mahogany ship mm. on the beach was related to those stone houses. How far away is that, the mahogany ship? Oh, probably... 40, 50 miles. That's it? all. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't. Fr- it's not a mm. great distance. So they haven't found the mahogany ship again, but it's been yeah. discovered three times in a hundred years or something, and then yeah. been lost in the sand again, which is yeah. bizarre, isn't it? You can lose the whole thing. Well, the way the sand drifts. But yeah. the thought is the timber was so so hard, and the idea that it could have been a Portuguese caravel is not on because they actually use softwood for all their boats. That's why there's this theory that it's the that it was northern Vietnamese teak. Yeah. used by the Chinese and the fish agri- agriculture there in Lake Conda and the houses would have been built by Chinese. Yeah, that was my assumption. Mm. I, I wrote or emailed uh, the 1421 mob yep. Yep. Uh, and, and mentioned that and they emailed back thanking me for the information and, and saying it had been recorded. Mm. But that was my immediate thought. Well, there could be a relationship between the mahogany ship and the... Well, that's, I, I think that's a very good theory, yeah. Houses. And uh, because I read somewhere, and I, I, whether it was in the 1421 book, that they had horses aboard the Chinese ships. Mm. And one of the Chinese guys rode a horse from the Warrnambool district up to Queensland. Now, how the hell they knew that, I don't know. Mm. But uh, and how, God, how far would 
that'd be a bloody long way. And how would he know to go, <laughs> go up there? Well, um... <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's just an interesting aside. Uh, there's a lot of interest in um, 